In my hand, I have what Callaway claiming is a spin machine. Let's do it. And let's do it now. Oh, that was nice. Hi everyone, James Robinson here guys. First things first, I'd like to warmly welcome you all back to the channel. And today we're discussing a new Callaway wedge that's coming to the market, a spin machine, as they like to call it. Ooh. So I thought we'd get our short game expert in. Chris, how are we? Look at this. Oh, what's that looking? Oh, oh. Oh, ruined it. Peaked. Look at that. You can't beat taking a wrapper off something, Chris, can you? No, you can't. How are you? Very good, yourself? I'm all the better for seeing these clubs because you know what? I very rarely get excited about testing wedges. When we get claims like we've had from Callaway, yeah. I'm really looking forward to testing these. We're going to test them for spin, test them for forgiveness, and also we're going to have a little bit of a comp grooving groove, some would say. Grooving groove, yeah. Right. Looking good. Which ones have you got? Because I've got here a 60 degree, obviously, if you'd like to take that wrapper off for me. Yeah. What is that there? Oh, a a vol. A vol or a weasel. Yeah. So I have a 60 degree full face. Just to say these are the new Jaws full face wedges from Callaway. Full toe. Full toe, sorry. Full oh, toe. Get it right. And I love how industrial they look. Yeah. So a raw finish. A lot different to the uh, less of a shiny finish than the previous Jaws. Which I will do a comparison on this week. Yep, on your own channel. Correct. They look really good, don't they? like the grip as well, not the bright blue of the jaws. So yeah, you yeah. don't need that, do you? No. Right. Subtle. Shall we have a competition? Yep, let's go. Right, Chris. So, Callaway claim that these new wedges are spin machines. And I just couldn't not use that in the title, Chris, to be uh, perfectly honest. The rain comes again. The rain um, comes again. So we're going to test that out from about kind of 40, 50 yards here. The flag is at the back. We are downwind. Yeah. So we're never going to get an ultimate amount of spin. No. But let's see how much we can control these shots in. In the end, the loser is going to buy the pints. Pint of stones here at Waterfront Golf. The best pint of stones going. Not bad. Tried. Try to check up. I mean, it is wet because it is now raining, as you probably can see. Again, launch pretty low there. Let's get it a little bit higher, a little bit shorter. Oh, that was nice. Oh, so, you see, that one spun a bit too much for you. That's finished short. Yeah, so that one did check quite a lot on the second bounce. So, feels pretty good. I do have to say, it does look good down at the ball. I am, I've become a fan of the grooves all the way to the toe but also here on the Phil Mickelson wedges obviously they brought out the high toes this edge here was a lot sharper it was a, a steeper angle to the toe whereas now it doesn't look as aggressive it looks a lot easier when it's and these, the these are replacing the PM grind as well we should probably say correct you'll get behind this camera quickly so I can play some <laughs> so I've got the lob wedge as usual kick the camera <laughs> again and looking down it it does look I don't know if it's the colour Chris but they look wonderful, don't they? Yeah, they look a lot better on the eye. That's got to have some spin on it. Okay, that's impressive, isn't it? Stopped pretty quick. It's nearly gone in as well. Yard. So again, good strike there. To say that's downwind, I'm downwind, mega, mega impressed. Downwind, launch pretty good. Plenty of spin, even in the wet. I've that's gone a bit nice. more attacking at that, watch this. That's a nice shot. Spin. That's released a little bit. Released a little bit, but seems to have a lot of spin. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah, right. Should we take cover again? Right, Chris, slight interruption. Yeah, but we can talk about we the We can wedges. talk a little bit more about them, can't we? So, yeah. one thing I, that re I commented on earlier was the industrial look of them. And I think that they look absolutely, for Callaway wedges, which I've never been a massive fan of, wonderful. No, They've neither. ditched the silly colours. Yeah, silly colours, just gone nice and bog standard, black, silver, and then the raw finish on the face, which... For me, it was one of the bigger things. Um, you know, I know tour players say a lot because they play in the sun, but even for your average golfer... Andy. Andy. Uh, a lot of glare off the clubs. I know with the, the other jaws, as soon as you open that up, there's a bit of sun, you can't see anything. So the raw finish, which will rust, again, which might give it a little bit more spin as well, is something that the tour players like. So it's good that they brought it out to the 
average golfer. And we also have a little bit of grooving groove technology here, which is worth mentioning, and yeah. heel and toe relief for more forgiveness. Correct. You know, I think we've read up on that, wouldn't you? You would have thought we've just given a bit of spiel. So you can see here, there's a weighting on the toe and the heel. It actually looks like a bit of a St. George's. St. George's. You could see fine. that, couldn't you? So yeah, so what that's going to do really, you know, people say, well, why would you have that? The main reason is it's going to give it easier in the bunkers. So it's going to be easier to play different bunker shots, open that up and it not be heel sticking up or toe still in the air. So it's going to allow it to sit flusher to the ground a little bit more confidence so you're going to be able to play your bunker shots better but also flop shots which we all know James loves. It's also going to spread out that COG Chris as well. That, yeah? Yeah, COG. Got it right. Got it right. James. Got it right. Got it right. Good news. It's not raining anymore. Should we get out? I think we're going to have to make a... Uh, we'll leave this in here. Yeah, good idea. And we'll go for it. Right, well I've just spied while we waited for the rain to clear. We also have them in, if I can ever get this off, a lovely black number. So these look wonderful chris do you Same. want to i'll get the 56 we're going to play a short sided shot now i don't mean to brag but i'm one up um mine Are spun you? quite yeah mine spun quite a lot in that first one the second one didn't oh i tell you what this could be a bit of me if i can get this off yeah, so it's well wrapped Ooh. yeah it looks nice great day for it Good, lovely day for it loving life so chris what color do you prefer looking at these uh to be honest well, they do look nice because they're the raw finish i'll, I'll stand out in the rain <laughs> because this, this is commitment should we wait no it's fine go on then. because it's the raw finish i think it still looks good i like the the silver ones as opposed to the black the same as when we got our vokies i preferred silver ones and i, I actually think. prefer the dark so it's funny how yeah different people prefer different th different things isn't it but again it sits nice again one other thing is obviously this edge here compared to the if you look at the pm ones it's a straighter leading edge as opposed to that was very round and when I used the one that you had you hated it didn't you yeah it felt like you could, even for me I could easily miss hit it miss strike it and not get anywhere near do you want to take cover again yeah these trees are good though Chris aren't yeah, they yeah the good thing about here at Waterfront plenty of trees ideally place for you to get into <laughs> when filming you know so Chris the rain's finally stopped again <laughs> and we've got the Darth Vader ones out now, I'm going to call them. Right, okay. I thought the Sluv ones looked good, but these look absolutely wonderful, don't they? Absolutely wonderful. Wonderful. So, they obviously, reduce glare with the black. Yep. You, would you go for silver instead? I'd still go for the traditional silver with, the obviously, the um, th uh, raw face. Even raw face. Got there eventually. Um, but again, here we're playing a short-sided shot. Obviously, we need a little bit of loft. But one other good thing about this, okay, we do need to dry the club face, but again, if we're opening this up, there's obviously a lot more area for that ball to grip. So, so if the ball does roll up the face, it's more likely to get a bit of spin. That's if it rolls up, even if we get the off-centre strike, so even if you are somebody who gets a toe strike, it's going to give you more spin that's to start That's me to with. a T, to be fair. So we're short side. I'm going to go and film the ball react, Chris, on the green so people can see the fierce spin. Something like that. Chris has still got the 56. Oh, that was an awkward landing, but a great shot. That literally landed between the fringe and the green. Nice shot, about six feet. Six feet, yeah, yeah. not bad. This is a oh. higher one. Oh, that did stop as well. Yeah, yeah, nice, probably about 10 feet. I think I can beat those though. So, sat pretty soft. Yep. How did it feel? Felt very good. Again, the first one was very much off the toe and I think that's why it ran out a little bit more but still felt pretty solid right I'll have a go with the uh, 60 degree 10 bounce oh fit that stopped dead almost did it and closer than mine already oh it's 2 nil. mine have a 2 nil. -er. How good is that? But it wasn't the best camera work. Ah, oh, that was. Um, so for me, that I've played two. So for me, that I've played two shots out of wet, sticky rough. And I'm not going to lie, I'm quite pleased with both of them. I think that's two nil to me in the stakes for the beer. And that's. Uh, I mean, realistically, Chris. Yeah. That's just four decent shots from a short-sided position, isn't it? 
It is, and, and I felt with obviously both wedges, because of the straighter leading edge, it cut through the grass a little bit easier than if we had the Phil Mickelson with yeah. the obviously rounded leading edge. So it's given us good results. They landed, obviously the 56 ran out a little bit more. James has landed nice and soft and was able to get, you know, down here and have a chance falling out. Oh, I think realistically I'd had the better club there, didn't I, the lob wedge? Yeah, I'll give you that one on this rare occasion. Oh, I'm just knocking him in for fun. Ooh, Apart no. from that one, should we bung? Oh, the sun's out! Oh, yes! Get a stone. So, Chris, we've spoken about some of the technology in these new Jaws full groove. Full groove? Full face? Full toe. Full toe. I knew I'd get it right eventually. Full toe wedges. Yep. We also have a variable weight port system, which locates the CG more towards the toe to okay. align with impact location, especially for a toe striker like myself. Yep. And Jaws toe pad, which raises the CG to promote a controlled trajectory with more spin. So again, we're going on the spin element, mm -hmm. which is what we need here, because we've got about 100 yards into the final hole here at Waterfront Golf Club. Yep. Downwind, if any wind, and a short-sided flag. So we need a good strike and then yep. plenty of spin. Correct. So two down, I believe. Same. Then we're going to jump in the bunker. And then we're going to play the most spin wins. Yeah, so I'm going to give you... Yeah, I'm going to go 56 here because I feel like that's the that's the right shot to play. So I'm going with the uh, silver or chrome or finish. So... That's incredibly well struck. Oh! How good is that? Oh, I don't think you'll be beating that one. I even zoomed in on that for you with the uh, side phone. I'll tell you what, took a bit of a crate. And that's actually stayed short, so they've got loads of spin on there. So plenty of spin, good landing angle, but again, launched reasonable. Right, let's try and send one in a little bit lower. It's another great strike, a bit to the right. Yeah, and that was interesting because that actually took a big first bounce and then stopped. Yeah, took a big bounce just short and then it grabbed on the second one. Ooh. So there's something to beat there, Chris, isn't there? Certainly is. Do you think the shaft feels short? I feel like it feels short for a sand wedge, but... Feels normal to me. That could be loaded with spin. Stop straight away. <laughs> it, it did on that apron. <laughs> right, a little bit more then. Both quite short. Again, didn't come off as hot as you thought off the face. The first one did. The first one I thought might have kicked on actually. Yeah. But um, yeah, just stopped dead. So, did stop, didn't land on, but at least uh, the game goes on. The game goes on, you're right. Show goes on. Bunker. So as we walk down this final fairway, we've got a couple of shots left to play to properly test these wedges. But for me, one of the big things that I'm more impressed with than the spin machine mm -hmm. is the look of them and the feel of them. Because the look, I'm not going to lie, I've never really been a huge fan of Callaway wedges visually. No, I don't think I've ever neither. had them in the bag. No, me neither. And these, for me, could be the wedge that would maybe change that. I mean, I know TaylorMade make great wedges. Vokey obviously make great wedges. You're a big fan of the ping wedges, aren't you, as well? Yeah, ping wedges have got a lot better in the last couple of years, so they are. The market's kind of hotting up, but I do feel like with these, Callaway might well, especially the black ones. I'm really pleased that we found the black, the black ones in there. Yeah. Um, and you can see here, mine... Razzed back, stopped dead, and then yours, <laughs> your first shot was... We should have just stopped at your first shot, Chris, really, shouldn't we? Well, like I said, there was no beat in that one. No. Right, Bunker. I mean, this one's pitched up. Oh, volleyed it in. Look at this for stop. Downwind as well. You've almost been done there, because you want that to release out more, don't you? You want a little bit of more in it, but it's, it'll do. It's got me the victory. Right, let's see how these black faces react in a bunker, and if they mark up quickly or not. Let's have a look. You going first? See. Right, Chris, so you've got 56 degree. Yeah. The score's 2 1. I'm still leading. Quite a difficult bunker shot, as we can see here. So let's see how Chris gets on. Oh, that's nice. Just... 
Whoa. Oh, that's for the fans. Oh, that, that was delightful. So plenty of spin there. <laughs> Not his best one, that one. You peaked at the first one. Got a bit aggressive there. So I'm gonna go. I did hit a stone, I'm gonna say. You did? Yeah. Oh dear. So we'll see if it's marked. So I'm gonna up. go lob wedge and see how this looks after a few bunker shots. How does it look? So one of my fears always with black wedges is how they'll mark up. And I did catch a stone, but we can see there. See, if you're spending this amount of money on wedges, I'm sure they're about 150 quid. I'll put is the price on screen now. A little mark. It's, yeah, it's, you're not going to be overly happy with that, are you? No, one shot in the bunker, and again, when you sit that down now, you can clearly but that, see that, that. You almost know that when you buy a wedge, or I do. True, but that's what puts me off black. Okay, fair enough. Certainly did peak. Right, I've got a lob wedge. Yours is a great shot from here. This is you would want, is it? I'll move that no, stone now. No, definitely wouldn't. Oh, spin. Go on. Spin. Ah! <laughs> you like that? Oh, we've even got a round of applause. That actually had backspin on it. Did have backspin. That was a good shot. Might have even won you a beer. Oh. Oh, <laughs> same <laughs> as me. So what's happened there is, did that try to come back? So plenty of spin, even down slope. So realistically, what's happened there is me and Chris have played two worldies to start with and then got a little bit overzealous, overconfident and arrogant, really, for the second shot. But the amount of spin on those first shots was incredible. Obviously, these are new wedges. The grooves are new. They're going to be fresh. They're going to have spin on them. Spin machines. Ooh. Uh, that's 3-1. Three, 3-1. One. Three, one. The dream's dead. The dream's dead. So this last shot, you can go from wherever you want. And one the rules ball. are, who can generate the most spin? One ball. One ball? No, two. So gonna, might as well have two, haven't we? I, I think not. from inside that bunker over there into the wind is the one. Bunk? Oh, not a bunker. Just had a bunker. Should we have a look at this black face and see how that's gone with a uh, couple of bunker shots? See there, that's obviously worn a little bit. And um, for me, that again, I don't particularly mind. I know that's going to happen. They're, they're never going to look new forever. And the sole starts. I actually love the look of a worn sole, to be fair. Should we do an over the bunker? Up and over into the wind? You do what you want. So again here, with these shots, I like to hit them just a little bit off the toe. So with the grooves, you can be a little bit more aggressive for that spin. No, that's not a bad shot. It ran out. Not bad. Ran out of the rough. It will do. So I'll put a little bit more loft on this one. Still be as aggressive, trying to hit it off the toe. So got a little bit more down onto that one. I did open it more, but tried to get a little bit more of attack and you saw it did have some more spin. I'm going to stay with the lob wedge, Chris. That's a shock. Right, so all I'm going to try and do here, guys, is create basically as much fun, as much spin as possible. Remember, Callaway claim these are spin machines. So let's see if we can nip one here. Still not bad, is it? Not bad. More the loft that got that to stop than spin, but it did stop pretty quick. A little bit lower. Ooh. And that's the one that catches you out, and I'm quite glad that I've hit that, because a spin machine is all good and well, but you have to know how to play that. You have to know how to rely on the spin to not leave it short where Chris has just picked my ball up from there, because if that's the case, then having a wedge that spins a lot is absolutely useless so guys thank you ever so much for watching really hope you have enjoyed that review of the new callaway spin machines or should i say the callaway jaws full toe wedges chris what are your thoughts being a short game specialist uh, again the things that they always say more spin and such i'm not so convinced i think the new wedges we don't know really how they've compared we haven't got some old jaws that are brand new to compare to these or any other wedges but finish wise i think it's much better um i like that the obviously grooves go all the way to the toe short game i do teach a lot of people to hit it off the toe a little bit deader 
you can pull obviously more speed and it doesn't go as far with the grooves then we'll get a little bit more grip as well so that's something that i do like for me i really 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 love the new shape of them love the colors of them i'm really glad we got these black ones out to have a look at um and yeah i think the they spun well, the new wedges. I, I really enjoyed them out of the bunker. Yep. Um, apart from that, I think, guys, if you are going to try these in, get in the comments and let us know. Are you a big fan of Calais wedges? Are you more of a Oki person, a ping person, a tailor-made person? Um, and apart from that, smash that subscribe button if you haven't done already. Chris, thank you ever so much for your time. No problem. And apart from that, we will see you all at the same time tomorrow. Boy, you'll see them when? In the next couple of days. <laughs>